What do you care? Just curious. You really want to know? On second thought... I'll tell you. Well, don't strain yourself. I don't have my ring. I can't get home. I can't get out of this place. Aside from that, life couldn't be better. Glad to hear it. I'm curious, too. Dare I ask? About one thing. What's for dinner? What am I going to do now? I know it's for my own sake, but what good will it do me? Hey, at least you don't have those two animals breathing down your neck anymore, do you? They're gone, but I'm still here. I don't have my ring, and I'm not home. Well, at least you're safe. I mean, for a while. Your leg's getting stronger, you're walking without your cane. That's not good enough. Well, what good is a ring to you if you're dead? That's just a cute little way of me telling you that I'm trying to protect you. I mean, by sending those two goons on a wild goose chase down to Geneva, you can bet their pals are going to be watching your grandmother's in in Texas. So what do we do now? What's step B of your brilliant plan to save Felisa from the darkness of evil? Or is that a secret, too? It's no secret. Well, then might I ask what it is? Well, you can ask, but I, I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't know what we're going to do next, either. What? But, but I'm working on it, though. <clears throat> oh, that's really nice to know. Well, you don't have to get sarcastic about it. Sarcastic? I'm desperate. That you can be. You mean so all the scheming was just for nothing? No, no, I wouldn't say that, no. What would you say? Might I offer a few suggestions? Please. Tell me I'm not right back where I started from. Well, no. No, you're not. You're not there. Not exactly. Tell me I have my ring. Well, you know where it is. You know who has it, at least. Tell me I'm going home. Tell me, Frisco. Promises, promises. Tell me one more thing. When are you going to deliver? All you ever do is complain. What have I got to be happy about? Well, having me on your side for one thing. With friends like you... How would you get along without me? Oh, that would be wonderful. You wouldn't last two minutes. Don't you understand that everything I do, I'm trying to help you? You're always helping me for the wrong things. What I really need... Is a good spanking. My ring! You want your ring? Are you hard of hearing? All right, fine. I'll tell you where you can go about getting it. Try showing a little common gratitude instead of giving orders all the time. Or don't princesses indulge in common behavior. I'm hanging out with you, aren't I? Yeah, because you want the damn ring. Yeah, that's right. What is it about it, huh? I mean, what, is it an engagement ring? Prince Peter give it to you from back home? What's the matter? Are you jealous? No. I'm fed up. All the grief you've handed me and I can't even get a simple explanation? You wouldn't believe me. Try me. I did. Now, if I hear this one more time, that your it's royalty... Rude. And the ring is magic, right? Give me that ring. You want the ring, Princess? Yeah, I want the ring. Okay, here you go. Here it is. I've been hiding it. Is this what you live for? You dream about it, don't you, baby? Give huh? it to me. This Give is exactly what you want, isn't it? Huh? Is that what Give you want? How dare you? You're so smart, save yourself. Where are you going? As far away as I can. I'm not the good Samaritan, you understand? I got my own life. Enjoy yours. And do me a favor. You stay the hell away from me. of the show for today, Teen Timers. Catch you next time, and thanks for watching. This is Josh Clayton signing off. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Frisco.
What do you say, Star? You forgot to tell me hosting a show would mean I'd have to work for a living. Oh, I didn't want to tell you that. You wouldn't take my offer, then. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Look right. what the groupies dragged in. Welcome home, Frisco. You mean they haven't fired me yet, man? Hey, hosts come and go. A crew is forever. So, have you guys managed to survive in my uh, brief absence here? Better than ever. Yeah? You ask a foolish question, you get a fool. Huh? I think we got him back. It is so nice to be appreciated. Didn't we appreciate him? We appreciated him every day that he was gone. <laughs> Are you writing down all these one-liners? Oh, yeah, I got them. Good to have you back. Yeah, I need my insults every day. I have to come back here. <laughs> so I see things haven't changed, huh? No, it's still crazy here. Yeah, where do you start believing that the camera's talking to you? Start! <laughs> so, uh, when are you gonna come take this load off my shoulders? Soon, man. Real soon. I'm going to go check in with the brass now. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, it's over here. Oh. Josh. Good hey, show. Good show. Thanks, Mr. Barrington. You met Frisco? Hi. Ah, my illustrious missing star. Yeah, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Yeah, well, I heard the scuttlebutt out there that your uh, hiatus is over. Yeah, ready to come back with your permission, that is. Permission is not the word. No, there was never a question in my mind that you were on this team. I've been running some of your old shows. Mm -hmm. You know your way around the camera. Actually, the camera does everything for me. Whatever the combination works. Well, I'm glad you think so. When can you start? Whenever you say. Well, that's up to you and Josh. Talk about it, work it out. Yeah, we'll do that. We work things out pretty well. well we always yeah, do. Excuse me, Mr. Barrington, you have a call. Yeah, I'll take it. And, uh, welcome back. Thank you. Hey, uh, enough shop talk, huh? What's happening with the lady? Nothing, man. Nothing. At all. Oh, in other words, drop the subject. Right? No, no, I mean it. It's, you know, it's over. It was, it was nice while it lasted, fun and games, but... You know, forget it. Yeah, whatever you say. Yeah. No, I mean it. The guy is available. Spread the word. Well, nobody could accuse you of being particular. No, let all of them know. Every candidate. They're all open now, you know? Including that one? Who? Um, listen, man, I gotta go. We'll talk later. Wait, wait, the door's that way, remember? I'm gonna just slip out the back way here. Oh, you want me to tell her you said hello? No, I'll do it in about a year or so. Oh, right, right. Why encourage her? Yeah. Good evening. For a minute there, I thought I stepped into the wrong Pullman car. This is the place. What's going on? I just thought it'd be a little truth. You were that sure I'd come back? I hoped you would. This is a lot of work for a hope. Not a hope. You're tense. That's shock. Mixed with a good dose of suspicion. What you see is what you get. It would be nice to do something besides argue for a change, but if you prefer... I prefer this. Make me want to go to bed with you. Will it? You give me my ring. Tune in tomorrow for another episode of The Princess and the Pop. <clears throat> in which he asks her, would you like to dance? And she says, I'd love to. burning question still remains. Will either of them get what they really want?
You know, I have to say, <laughs> regardless of our respective intentions, tonight has turned out to be very nice. For once, we agree. Good. Then I'll push my luck. I wouldn't. It's only with a question. That's different. Push ahead. If I were to give you the ring back, what would you do? Would you return it to Prince Peter? You care if I did? Don't answer a question with a question. Don't ask a question that demands a question for an answer. What? What would it, it wouldn't matter what I would do, would it? Tonight. 